Well, good morning or good afternoon, everyone, depending on where in the world you are watching from. And a very happy Friday to you all. This is Leanne Ryan from FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. And we are so very excited to be back for season five, flight two of auctions with another absolute stellar lineup of Feathers Elite breeders and their hand selected thoroughbreds on offer, especially for you. We want to welcome you to today's lot viewing and a quick reminder that this show always works best when you guys participate. So do not be shy and post your questions in the comments. Also, if you enjoy our content, please remember to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Without further ado, I am going to do what I do best and check to make sure we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. And I am going to send it over to my partner, Ryan, to introduce our first breeder of the season, live from the Netherlands. Ryan, over to you. Oh boy. Oh, welcome back, Leah. It's nice to have you with us. It's been a while and uh, you always start the intros off. Oh, 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 so good. I like that uh, the kickoff intro song. God, it gives me goosebumps, goose tingles. But hey, we're not here for you, Leah, and we're sure as hell not here for me. We're here to the guy beside me. Small loft, kicks ass, and he loves it when the wind blows into his face. The stronger the wind blows, as you hear right now, the wind is blowing. The stronger that wind blows into the face, those birds just climb that mountain and win, win, win. NPO wins. This is the man, Jos Goosen. Welcome, my friend. Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Are you ready for this? This is your North American debut at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You've picked out some fantastic pigeons. Uh, very, very nice. The quality is super high here. And I, I noticed the one reason why I came was I was watching on Facebook and, and YouTube and I seen uh, certain Americans getting some results with your pigeons. And I, did, I did some looking and I did some looking, I did some researching and messaging you. And it took a little while to get here, but I was glad that I got here. And again, small off, big results. And you have them. Another good year I hear you had as well. I had a terrific year, yes, of course. And, and uh, for, for people not understanding what we mean in a small loft, how many pigeons um, do you raise? I have I eight, nine breeders. Um, I breed for myself 40, 50 youngsters, 40, 50 youngsters. I race with 20 cocks. I start with 20 cocks and at the big races from 400, 500, 600 kilometers, I race with maximum six, eight. And only, only the best I go uh, to those races. To those races. And let me ask you, this year, and, and just for, for people to get a, an idea, some of your results this year, some of your big performances. Uh, my best results were um, uh, first uh, middle distance race, 400 kilometers of Loris. It was headwind. It was a beautiful day, pigeon day, we say. Uh, I was also nervous because with that weather, I'm also always nervous. And um, altogether in the whole province, in a whole area, we had 10,500 pigeons. Um, I was picking the pigeon about two o'clock, something like that. And um, that day I was uh, studying with my oldest son. He had uh, a test for uh, uh, history that it was for history and I was it was a uh, over World War two over World War II. yeah and I was telling I was reading for him and then he said to me uh, that there is a pigeon on your loft <laughs> <laughs> she... I looked I looked and what did I saw I saw a, a, a yearling one of my favorites still very young and he was sitting there not inside but at the, at the chapel. Yep. And uh, so I called him, we went uh, inside, and he won the first of 10,500 pigeons. Amazing, really amazing. Listen, folks, first of 10,500 pigeons. Uh, with headwind, with strong headwinds. These are the types of pigeons that we want to bring to North America. Impact pigeons. That's why we are here. You don't breed 200, 300, 400 pigeons a year? No, 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 no. I have and no time, and I I have a small love. I have with nine breeders. You can uh, you can breed one hundred, 
about that. But then now it's finished, but then I breathe till October. Here's, here's the, the thing, folks. I asked Yos and I, I asked him, what are we looking for here? What are you looking for in pigeons? And he, he said it, we're looking for 1%. We're looking for those 1% good yes, pigeons. The super ones. The super ones. And they're not easy to find, but you have no. to be very selective. Yes. And you have that knack to be selective. Well, maybe I am. I have an advantage because also this one who won, mm -hmm. he was an inbred Argentine. And my Argentine is a famous breeder. I have him now for 20 years. He's still alive. And he bred uh, himself three NPO winners. But he is a father and grandfather of national winners, of, of the best pigeons in Belgium. And uh, a really an amazing good breeder. And he is a, a three double grandson. So his father is a double grandson. His mother is a granddaughter. I put them together. So it's very inbred and he did so well. So it's not a, a, a coincidence. I don't, I don't believe in coincidence. I just believe in quality. Quality, good pigeons and hard selecting. And high selecting, yes. And at the end of the day, he's not looking for the best 5%. He's looking for the best 1%. And that's why Yos is with us here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Leah, I'm going to turn this over to you so we can start to get into these fantastic lots. Uh, is everything working good? If something kicked out, that's amazing. It just helps if I shut, uh, unmute my microphone. Oh. Yes, yes, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. I want to welcome everybody uh, for watching. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're, get, we're getting a lot of comments here. Good morning from Mike Parrish. Good morning to you, friend. Good morning, Tracy. Nice to see you on. And we are on YouTube because we've got Florin tuning in on YouTube, and he gives a big hello. Hello to you all. Before we get into the six fantastic lots, of course, what do I have to do? I have to give you guys the reminders. Reminder for this auction here, folks, all pigeons are in Canada. Yes, they have completed their mandatory quarantine and they are ready to go. All bids are in Canadian dollars. For so, so for our American friends, you all are getting a big discount. There is a $250 import fee per pigeon on top of the shipping rate after the closing bid. And this auction closes Wednesday, October 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, also known as New York Time, but better known as Feathers Elite Time, when you put elite quality into your breeding program. Ryan, are we ready to get into the lot? I, I am ready to hear you read off lot number one, Leah. Take it away. Oh, don't forget to mute your microphone. <laughs> Thank you very much. And here we go, guys. Your lot number one, the Netherlands, 2022, 8638144, 8, a beautiful blue hen, an original Joost Goosen, NA Feathers Elite exclusive offer, a direct child of super racer Hercules, when paired to Golden Kim Porsche, direct from the PIPA Elite Center, also a granddaughter of Prince Porsche and Golden Kim, again from the PIPA Elite Center. From Yos Goosen, this is Hercules Porsche 44. Gentlemen, let's talk about your lot number one. Um, this is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this is my Hercules. He was a super racer. Maybe you can see he races in the club. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Six times the first in the club. He races all together uh, 11 times in the first 10 in the club. And the club means between 200, 3, 4, 500 pigeons. But he also races on NPO results. And NPO means the whole province of Limburg. Um, he races three times in the first 10. NPO races are that. The big races, hard races. And he was extreme good pigeon. Maybe I can show you to oh, see. Yeah. Big results, heavy yeah. results. Heavy results because it's, uh, they were all, <laughs> he is not that big one, not the big one, 
but at five, six hundred kilometers, you were extreme good pigeon. And you know, I, I remember lot one, he feels just like your lot number one, very strong pigeons. They're not overly big, but they're all up front pigeons, very balanced, very buoyant, vent bones, very nice on this cockbird, proven racing machine. He's got a gorgeous look, this cockbird, just like your lot number one. Eye sign must take after the mother. Beautiful wings, the soft silky feathers, molting so strong, these pigeons, but you can feel. Is he perfect in the back? There's a little left and a little right, but so much upfront muscle on the father here. You can just feel nothing but quality. And what do you have to say about the mother? Uh, of the mother, your lot number uh, one? You know, she is in my in my area, right? Uh, and uh, she is a direct daughter of Prince Porsche. I bought the, the, the mother from Nicholas, a good friend. And um, she is a direct daughter of Prince Porsche, uh, crossed with Golden Prince of Click, mm -hmm. with famous New Kim. And New Kim was from the Wawa. It's the most expensive pigeon ever sold. So let, let me tell you this also, the mother was an expensive pigeon. We, but, we only showed one today, <laughs> but hey, you see the cock, he's got super quality, and the, the hen is second to none as well. She, number one quality. yeah of course she's a terrific nice man so uh for the auction something special her sister i've seen goes to uh the show in yes in, 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 in vegas uh, no no the, the uh, show in uh perth amboys ah. so that will be your second opportunity but for these six lots here your lot number one it's a super pigeon take a look at the father can you see the qualities what when i was when I was handed these pigeons, when we did the selecting, not only were Yosa's results so high, but then he starts putting the birds into your hands and you feel the quality. You see it right here in black and white. The proof is in the pudding. Take a look at the intelligence, eh? This is an intelligent cockbird, super. Thank you very, very much for this lot number one. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you guys go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com or FIPA EU.com. A reminder, guys, this auction closes Wednesday, October 11th, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Carl Carolero, nice to see you on, friend. He says, You're right. Racing matching. Nice to see you on. Remember, guys, this show works best when you guys contribute. So please, if you have questions, now is the time. We're going to move on to your lot number two. A beautiful blue bar hen, the Netherlands 2022, 86381811, an original Jos Goosen and a Feathers Elite exclusive offer, a direct daughter of Cannonball EC and sister Tommy Sagan, and a granddaughter of Cannonball Harry from Jan Hoymans, made it to national winner EC, also a granddaughter of Super Racer and Breeder Sagan and Super Gabike from Gabby Vandenabiel. From Jos Goosen, this is Cannibal Sagan, 81. Gentlemen, let's talk about your lot number two. Well, my lot number two, this is the father, Cannonball, Cannonball Harry. Uh, I, this pigeon is an original from us, mm -hmm. our very good friends. And he's a son of Cannibal Harry. And Cannibal Harry is uh, a son from famous Harry. Uh, he was one of the best breeding sons of Harry. Uh, the mother of his pigeon is Izzy. She raised the first national of Izzada of 11,000 pigeons. So also his, his parents were super pigeons. I bought him especially for my breeding love. And he's already giving very good pigeons in my uh, breeding love. Very good pigeons. Well, I will tell you this. When I look at the the, the the daughter, they look identical. Eh? They have the same look, the same face. You see, nice. it, it switches right over. The super soft, silky, silky feathers on these pigeons, uh, and again, all up front muscle, vent bones like steel, back is like oak. Gorgeous wing, nice step to the wing, but just you feel they're not. They're a sporty pigeon. These pigeons, I can feel they. They know how to work in the wind. You can just feel by the way they're constructed. Well, my, my, you know, my belief is uh, for here, for sure, about 500 kilometers with headwind, you don't need big pigeons. No. No. We, we, I always have them smaller. 
Okay. If they rave for nine, ten hours, they are too big. They, they, they don't manage it. Now, let me ask you, on this lot number two, tell me a little bit about the mother. Uh, the mother is uh, a daughter of famous Sagan who went to uh, Mr. Kai, a Chinese man. And uh, she is, I have still eight children direct of Sagan. And she is one of my best breeding daughters of him. She's already mother of seven, eight uh, top ten prize winners. Very good breeding, and she's she is very she is all special. I only breed every year four or five couples out of her because she is now also uh, getting old. So I have, I have to be be careful with them because Sagan isn't uh, fertilized anymore. Mm -hmm. You're at the end of the road here. He is, yes, the end of the road. So, so the, 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 um, the two in the auctions, mm -hmm. they are two grandchildren of Sagan. And then if you think that Sagan is now in 21, Jan Bach has Miss World, one of the best pigeons of Belgium, grandchild of Sagan. In uh, 2022, uh, even you also heard of the world, mm -hmm. the pigeon uh, with, yes. uh, with the ring. Uh, is also a grandson of Jagan. And this year, Mr. Kaya himself is the best pigeon of Belgium, also grandson of Jagan. So three years in a row, one of the best Belgian or the uh, best pigeons in Belgium are grandchildren of Jagan. So I have to be very, and the two in auction are two grandchildren of Jagan. If you guys can read between the lines, if you just heard what he said, he, was, he wasn't talking about direct children, he was talking about grandchildren. No, two children, they aren't for sale. Uh, Sagan, uh, uh, Kaya doesn't sell anything. But when we say grandchildren, did you hear the results from grandchildren? A super? Yes, yeah, super. <laughs> really, really super. So National winners in Belgium. My my friends, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions and Yost Goose, and we bringing you the best. Oh, man, this pigeon's nice. You know what? I have a bit of room in my bag. I can take him if you, if you don't have the space for him. But no what a problem. super pigeon. The father here of lot number two, quality, quality, quality. Leah, I can hear the wood cutting. Where do you go to bed? <laughs> Before we tell everybody where you go to bed, I have a question from Andrew over on YouTube for Yos. And he asks, hello, Yos, could you ask, please, does he line breed or inbreed? And which is better? What do you think, Yos? Um, I believe, and I believe very strong, inbreed, but inbreed in the third and fourth generation. Understand? You take the pedigree mm -hmm. and you have a super pigeon. So like the winner of 10,500, right. his grandfather, Argenton, is three times in it. Right. I've learned that from Gabi van der Nabele. He also did it with the Blixen. There are some special, let me say, um, the most important is that you have a good breeder. That's the most important. Yeah, very, there are a lot of good pigeons, but not all pigeons breed very well. So you have to look for a super breeder. They are very seldom. But uh, the Argenton is one. So now I breed not brother with sister. No, I take it in the, in the third and fourth generation. So and you'll breed the so, third? So I do. I, what I do is take good birds. I cross them with my Sagan line, mm -hmm. and I, then I also cross them with my Argenton, right. because it's not only Sagan, right. but it's very family related, of course. And that's what I do in the third, fourth generation, and I think that makes the so, most So you'll, you'll bring success. them back that way in the third and fourth, yeah. you'll put third and fourth together. I don't do brother with sister. Now, no. will you take a, a, the original and put it to a fourth? third or fourth generation yes. back, yes. you'll go that yeah. way and yeah. you'll go this way with it. Yes. So hopefully, uh, Andrew, that helps you out a little bit. Great questions, guys. And like we say, these shows work best when you participate. Hey, you've got the opportunity right now to ask the legend some questions. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you guys go to bid? Feathers Elite, PigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. We're going to move on to your lot number three. 
in the Yost Goosen online auction, a beautiful little blue bar hen. The Netherlands, 2022, 8638167. An original Yost Goosen and Day Feathers Elite exclusive offer. A direct child of Froomey and a grandchild of Super Racer Froom, winner of first NPO Montelon. Also a grandchild of National Harry from Florian Hendricks, winner of first National Chateau versus 7,503. Second National Argenton versus 9,512, and so on. Also a great grandchild of Super Racers and Breeders Sagan and Super Gabeke, and a great grandchild of Amano and Manu from the famous Gerard Koopman. Amano wins first National Loris versus 6,086, and Manu wins first National Chateau versus 19,192. From Eos Goosen, this is your lot number three, Fromi Manu. Gentlemen, let's talk about your lot number three. A uh, lot number three, I think uh, it's very special. I told you when I last year when I gave you the pigeon, I want to do something special. Um, this is Froome. He is a son of Froome. And who was Froome? Froome was the next brother of Sagan. But Froome was also a super racer. He won the first NPO of Monaco. Sagan won the first NPO of Bourges. What I did, I did. I put a daughter of Sagan on Froom, and I've got this Froom. He is a super breeder. He's already father of two NPO winners and one second NPO winner with three different hands. Mm. And the one, the one with the second NPO, he lost on three seconds, listen, on 20,000 of 22,000 pigeons on three seconds with three different hands. He's my number one breeding cock. Oh man, folks, if you make the trip here, you come and visit this man, you ask to handle this pigeon. First two, beautiful. This guy's going to a whole new level. And uh, he looks just like, same eye as the, the daughter. These pigeons are very, very smart. A, a fun fact, when I was collecting the pigeons to move them into the sections, this this hen that's for sale she's very smart she goes up into the raft and she finds the little hole and she goes up there and she sits she sits above everyone else and they always say the smartest pigeons go to the highest in the yeah, loft that's true. she was the only one that kept going up there and i says yeah, 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 and i know her true. because the yellow band and she's Important. got that, that killer killer eye but take a look at this cock what a super pigeon man quality perfect look at the step in this wing the balance, the buoyancy. He's a little longer pigeon. Vents are like steel. Let's talk about the mother of lot number three. Well, the mother uh, is, uh, well, what must I say about the mother? It's the best of the best. It's uh, uh, Florian Hendricks is one of my best friends. He races also very high on national level. And he has his national hurry. National hurry is a super pigeon. He won two national races and one second national race. So extremely good. And the mother is a daughter of National Harry crossed with uh, Manu. And Manu is from Gerard Goldman. You've heard, uh, of course, Gerard Goldman. Uh, Manu uh, also won two MPO races. So what's the pigeon in the auction? There are so, if you look very good to the pedigree, you only see NPO winners, national NPO winners. And that's extremely because I believe, I believe in beauty and in, in good pigeon, of course, but I also believe in a good pedigree. When I buy pigeon or look for pigeon, I always look to the pedigree. People say pedigrees don't race, of course, that's true. But for me, it is very important that I have a pedigree with a strain of proven, proven breeding pigeons and also uh, with good races in it, on national races, not from 100, 200, 300 kilometers, no, five, six, seven hundred kilometers with headwind. And the pigeon in the auction, she has it from, 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 from all, all, Parents, grandparents, only NPO winners, really. You, you don't have to sell me on these pigeons. I can feel it in the pigeons. I see the results in the pigeons. 
It's a small loft, impact pigeons. And you're seeing nothing but quality here. It looks just like the daughter. Smart pigeons and the best of the best. Oh, what a nice pigeon. I, I wish you people could have uh, the fingers at home to handle this so you see what super quality is. Because this lot number three is full of all that. You see the tree. You see the pedigrees. And did you hear what Yo said? Winners, 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 winners. And they're all breeding the same winners. History will repeat itself. Yes. Follow true. the lines. That's this true. is why we talked about in the last pedigree. Grandchildren are winning national races. It's You don't have to buy the direct child on this because the whole line is full. And that's where you're going to win. I want to thank you for showing me this guy. Oh, what a pigeon. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com or FIPAU.com. A reminder, guys, this auction closes Wednesday, October 11th. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. On that note, we're going to move on to your lot number four. A beautiful blue checker cock, the Netherlands 2022, 8638197. An original Jos Goosen and a direct son and a Feathers Elite exclusive offer of proven breeder Flintstone Sagan. One paired to a daughter of star Julian Winner of First National LeBorn versus 4,624. He is also a sire of 15th National Ace Pigeon, KBDB. 69th National Agen versus 17,759. And 170th National LeBorn versus 5,972 pigeons. From Yos Goosen, this is Flintstone, Star Julie, 97. Gentlemen, let's talk about your beautiful lot number four. I tell you, I am watching the video of me handle this pigeon in the sale. And I'm watching Yos handle the father of this pigeon. And I don't have to put the pigeon in my hand. I go right back to the video. They're built the exact same way. They're a little longer cast. Back is a 10 plus. Vents are like steel. He's an all up front pigeon, but he's a little longer. There's a little more pigeon here. And uh, what a super pigeon. I cut in. Normally you talk about the father, but I was so excited watching the video and then watching you handle it. I butt in. My apologies. Hey, tell me about the father. Um, he is a Flintstone Sagan. Why his name Flintstone? Um, his father is a son of Sagan. And his father I've sold to, a, a, to a, a, a man, a friend in Holland. And he is a number one breeding in his loft. He had never such a good pigeon in his loft. And his gratefulness, he gave me a son back him, but he is from super couple, Sansegan with Flintstone van Gerard and Bas van Kerk. And Flintstone was also an amazing good racer. So it's Sagan with van Kerk, and he has two extremely good racing sisters. Extremely good. I will show you later. I've never seen such a good such good sisters and then you see again it's again Sagan proven Sagan also at other loves in Holland in Belgium of course Argenton and Sagan also breed bad ones but if you have a good one you have a really good one and that's the one percent we, we talked about he is also now beginning to come and um, after after through maybe number two in my breeding love because I have already in those short years you know i started now for two years again i have uh, for next year i have five sons of him to race with with three different mothers and they all do very well very strong pigeons very strong pigeons yeah and, and you you hear it on his race program the same you you see we ask yo can you give us give us the best can you give us the best and look what he's given off of his top breeders. We want North America to be impacted. We want to bring the best. This is one of those lofts where you're going to have that success, bid in confidence. And the uh, the father, he has the same eye as uh, the bird in the auction here. I know, Leah, there is some, maybe some comments coming in, but before we get to the comments, let's talk about the mother. Uh, the mother is, uh, it was with co-breeding. Uh, I have a, a friend in Belgium, Yuri de Blois. 
um, he races very hard from five to eight hundred kilometers. He had with his uh, crack um uh, lines, very good pigeon. I've been there. I was amazed. It was a long time ago that I've seen such a beautiful breeding love. Also, only 10, 10 breeders. Um, and I bought a daughter of his um, first national Liborne. Crack he raised the first of all Belgium, national Liborne. That's almost 800 kilometers with heart when he won. And I bought a mother and I put her on Flintstone Sagan and the two you have in the auction. And I can I can remember the hand. She, says, <laughs> she was very beautiful. V very beautiful, super quality. Yeah, yeah. What can I say? I have a I have a brother in my race team who did well this year as a yearling and i'll tell you the vibration on this pigeon they just rumble in your hand you can feel it shake shakes my earlobes under these uh headphones quality second to none on the lot number four leah i don't know if there's any questions i know gang one says absolute beautiful <laughs> birds yes and that's gang one from the uk yes they are and man i'm in heaven today leah where do you go to bed before I tell everybody where do you go to bed, I just want to get to some wonderful comments here that are coming through the line. And just a reminder to everybody, all the lots that you see on our auction site, they were hand-selected by not only Loft Manager Ryan, but by Yost um, when he went to visit there uh, several months ago. Hand-selected. So, Gang One, when you say beautiful condition, absolutely hand-selected. We go the distance, folks, so you don't have to. Sergio over on Facebook says, good morning, Yos. Very nice pigeons in the auction. Many greetings. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Oh, we have another question here from Andrew. And he says, hello again. Uh, Yos, do your pigeons do better in headwinds or tailwinds? Absolutely in headwinds. With tailwinds, that's not my uh, racing uh... It's not my racing day. Um, I told you, I I uh, I live in the front. So with tailwinds, it's hard to win in, in, in front racing. For me, it's hard. At 600 kilometers, yes, possible. But two, 300 kilometers, you're, it's you're a bit possible. too short. Yes. And and on, and on the distance race uh, and on the headwind races, these birds have the power. They're up in the front. Uh, you can feel it in them. And you see the results. The results speak for themselves. And you can hear, you know, if we weren't talking about Yosa's results, listen to the other people from around the world that are getting results in, in neighboring countries, uh, in this country here, that have your pigeons that are, are at the top. And that's, that's a tribute to your pigeons. And it was so great is to see grandchildren and great-grandchildren really knocking dead. Yeah, it's all about genetics. Genetics and the strain and healthy rest is. I, I thought it was great names like Flintstone. I mean, I love the Flintstones. Yeah, it is Flintstone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great name, really. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, guys, bid in confidence here in North America. If you have not heard the name Yost Goosen, trust me, I have, and that's why I came here. I seen what people were winning with, and I always look for that. Those impact pigeons. This man has them. Leah, where do you go to bid? Where do you guys go to bid? You go to bid FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. We're going to move on to your lot number five in the Yost Goosen online auction. A very handsome blue bar cock. The Netherlands 2022 8638194. An original Yost Goosen and a Feathers Elite exclusive offer. A direct son of Cannonball EC. Made it to sister Tommy Sagan and a grandson of Cannibal Harry from Ian Hoymans. Made it to national winner EC. Also a grandson of super racer and breeder Sagan and super Gabicki from Gabby Vandenabil. From Yos Goosen, this is Cannibal Sagan 94. Gentlemen, let's talk about your lot number five. You and tell me. <laughs> you tell me. They're good. I don't. I don't have to say he's almost lost for words. You can can you see it? He's, he's scratching his head, going, "Shit, I sent them real damn good pigeons." <laughs> Take it away, Yos. Um, 
the pigeon now we discuss is uh, is the nest uh, the nest brother or sister from number two number two yes so i can tell the story again but uh, that's up to you uh, i sent one couple out of the cannibal harry mm-hmm. one of my best breeders grandson of the famous harry from hoimans with easy first national is it there and the uh, mother i told you she's a direct daughter of Sigan. so she is always always uh, also lot five and lot number two uh, two brothers two sisters i don't know uh, they were too young when i sent them mm-hmm. and they are two grandchildren of Sagan. and for the buyers not for me it's you can't get you, here in europe it's hard to get a gun because i only have them and kaya doesn't sell anything only on the chinese market only on the chinese market so yes. unless you guys know somebody at the chinese food yeah. restaurant you're not going to be able to get this but you are going to get it here at feathers elite pigeon auctions i've already handled them but uh, you brought them back out again i will handle them one more time you see the qualities unbelievable what a pigeon Oh yeah. So your lot number two guys and your lot five, don't be shy on it. Uh, if you miss one, grab the other one or hey, take them both. This is one of those auctions you can buy the whole auction and uh, fix your lot with some of the best. What were you gonna say? This is the one from the show. The the special show. one. You you, uh, you picked out two for yeah. what show? Uh, yeah, Perth uh, Amboys. Yeah, I forgot every time. It's okay. Yeah. It uh, happens. This is Hercules Sagan. His father is, I showed him uh, in, in, in the start, Hercules, my super breeder, super racer and super breeder. This is his son. He's still in the racing team. I raced him now 30 times and he was 29 times early on my loft. Very good. He is, he, he is always on time from 100 kilometers to 600 kilometers with headwind with tailwind he's special he didn't want the first first prize but he went second third fourth five six you name it very very good pigeons um the mother is my best breeding and with copia sagan also a daughter of sagan so it's hercules with sagan with Top Sigan is the grandmother of the famous Wout von Hoymans. She's a uh, number breeding one. She's my best breeding and I, I have. Uh, she is very special uh, to me. Hey guys, uh, if you can hear it, it's bit in confidence. I can feel the confidence oozing from Yos. Um, I know there's some questions to come in. Leah, if you want to fire in the question. Actually, we have a wonderful referral for Yos from Sergio over on Facebook. He says in 2022, my supercock Rudy 91 was second national pigeon in the Italian championship. And he is 50% from Yos's Sagan line. And Sergio says an absolute fantastic pigeon. There you go, Yos. Yeah, I can remember that Sergio was here. That's true. I sold him, I think, two youngsters, and he showed me a picture this summer, Sergio. I forget. He showed me a picture of his number one racing cock from the whole Italy. Mm-hmm. I was amazed. What a good cock. You're doing it in Italy, mm-hmm. too. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, really. See in that? Italy, in Belgium. Uh, my friend Joe Namelka in, uh, in, in America, in Utah. Joe has uh, won. Uh, uh, had very big results in the in the OLR races with my Argentine. He also has a daughter of Sagan. He she brought him big money. So they do it in China. It's uh, well, it's not for me, but good quality. That's what it's all about. Good quality, small loft, impact pigeons, hard selecting, and the key here is the headwinds. If you could win in headwinds you're set because you your pigeons have the grit to push into the wind tailwinds is one type of racing but good headwind racing that's where you find the yeah, maybe pigeons. maybe that's my problem because i i only uh, selected on headwind from 400 kilometers my pigeon have to perform well 
from 400 to 600 kilometers with abdomen. If they do not, they are out. As yearling, I have a very high selection. I, I, this year, I only kept three yearlings because I race with headwind very early. If I have pigeon with tailwinds, they go out. But that does also means that I'm not good enough at tailwind. Do, do, do you hear what his problem? I think the tailwinds will be a little easier to fix than the headwind problem. There's no problems here, guys. I want you to bid in confidence. By the way, don't listen to what I say. Don't even listen to what this man says. Take a look at Sergio in Italy. Yeah, he tra he traveled from Italy to here. Yes. He picked true. two pigeons. What did you just see? Proof is in the pudding. Look at those pigeons. Look at what Sergio said. Look at what Jonah Malka said. Number one pigeon in Italy. And maybe Sergio can show the picture. I hope a not. really super pigeon. I right. showed them to my friends. I showed them to Nicolas of Pipa. I say, Nicolas, look what he has. Well, you got you to send me this picture. So I do. I'm, I'm going to need this. Eh? Yeah, I, I'm going to do I, I was amazed. Sergio, congratulations. And, and, super I, pigeon. and I'm going to say to Sergio, next time you come, please. Your favorite no, is cannolis. I ask him. Bring him some cannolis. No, I, I, I ask him, <laughs> sell me the pigeon back. Sell me the, 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 the... You know what? If I work out a deal here, watch this, Sergio. <laughs> listen, just give him the pigeon back and have some more selection and have some more fun. But it is so great to see the people that follow our show. They post, your res they post results for people that they're buying birds from. And Sergio, thumbs up to you. Uh, congratulations and, and sorry for Italy. Uh, Sergio's just going to keep going. Leah, where do you go to bed? Uh, one more um, referral from Sergio because Sergio is in love with Yost Goose and Pigeons. He says, but also other two cocks play first prizes in racing from 350 to 500 kilometers, direct sun from a hen of intellect Sagan. Yost, you got a fan with Sergio, I'm telling you. There you go. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, if I said, if Sergio could bid on these birds that they're in North America, I'm sure he would. Uh, that's the type of confidence that Sergio has in these birds. And, and guys, like I say, we select the pigeons. Yost breeds them, races them. But it's when you hear other people winning, that should be the real confidence. That should give you that good feeling. And you, you heard Sergio didn't buy 20 pigeons. No, two. He bought two. And, and and there's there's the results, uh, Leah. I hate to say this, but uh, we know where you got to go to bid. Let's see the, the last and final lot because I'm excited. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. A reminder, guys, this auction closes Wednesday, October 11th, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to move on to our final lot in the sale. A very beautiful little blue checker hen, the Netherlands, 2022, 8638161. An original Eos Goosen and a Feathers Elite exclusive offer. A direct daughter of proven breeder Flintstone Sagan, when paired to a daughter of star Julian, winner of first national born versus 4,624. And sire of 15th national ace pigeon KBDB, 69th national Agen versus 17,759. And 170th national Narbonne versus 5,000. 972. From Yos Goosen, this is your lot number six, Flintstone, Star Julie, 61. Gentlemen, let's talk about your lot number six. Take it away. What do you, what do you, uh, I'm still there. Wait, yeah, you're there. Don't, uh, you're uh, there. They can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got you. Keep, they can hear me. Yep. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, it's a, it's a, um, it's a sister of lot number. What was it? Four. Yes. I just showed Flintstone Tegan. Flintstone Tegan with uh, a daughter of the first national uh, uh, from the crack from Yuri de Blois in Belgium. A very good racer. Also very special pigeons. Uh, my favorite, I must be honest, she's my favorite in the auction. There you have okay. it. We always ask the breeder which one is your favorite. That's my favorite. And uh, the favorite is lot number six, beautiful eye sign. The, these pigeons are very compact, soft feathered, good vent bones. Uh, they're strong vents. They they have what you need to do do it. Don't worry. Quality, quality, quality. We have a little headset problem, but uh, don't yeah. worry about that. Amen. Guys, the quality are in these lots. You hear it nothing but wins and generations of wins 
You if, see, if you study the pedigrees, you all see Sagan, Argenton, my number one ever. I will never will have such a good breed as him again. And what I do, I cross them with the best. I think I handle, I go, I don't buy on the internet respect. Mm -hmm. It's easier for me, of course, people from America. I mm -hmm. go here to the best Belgium loves. Then I you take the, I take the, now I did some uh, uh, co-breeding with people with Porsche too. Mm -hmm. An extremely good pigeon. A long time ago, I handled such a good pigeon like Porsche too. I told Nicolas, Nicolas, he will be your number one breeder. And uh, we did breeding together with Whitcock Sagan. I just uh, right. did a direct cog out of him. And I have, uh, both have one, and he is already into the breeding of. Uh, so that is how I, only the, the, the upper the upper ten, the best. The, the best come in. The best come in. But I have to handle them before. Yeah. I have to judge handle it's you have to like what you're what you're you're bringing in it's the magic pigeon fingers you have to have that feel uh and yeah maybe i let me say yeah maybe it sounds stupid but maybe i'm blessed with it uh, i started 30 years ago i went for 30 years i breed for 30 years uh, super pigeon i i started for fun with my father and my father didn't win anything. It was just for fun. And then after three years, he had to go on stage everywhere. Hey, big champion. Right. You, you, in three <laughs> years, I made him. I, I quit in 2018. I had three years, no pigeons. I started again uh, uh, with, with six pigeons in, uh, in 2021 uh, with six. Already good. Then in 2022 and 23. I started with a whole team, 20, uh, uh, 20 pigeon. I won three NPO races. I had the uh, first uh, provincial uh, ace pigeon, one of the best. He is now the seventh Olympic pigeon. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how. I... You know what? You, you just tooted your own horn there, and for all good reasons. But I see we have a comment coming in, and, and congratulations on those results that you've, you've done. Leah, what's the comment say there, please? We have another referral or reference for Yos from Mohammed over on Facebook. And he says, in 2023, my super hen, first ace bird in my club in Bangladesh, is a 50% Yos Goosen and 50% Harry Line. Guys, we can tell you, Ryan can tell you, Yos can tell you, but it is fantastic when we have breeders from all over the world chiming in with their incredible results from our Feathers Elite breeders. Muhammad, thank you very much for that. Yos, you got some fans all over the world. Isn't that fantastic? I'm very happy for Muhammad. I remember him. I sold him two pigeons, two hands, also granddaughter of Sagan. And uh, and I was amazed because I shipped them on, on Wednesday. They go in transport. And on Friday, he said, thank you very much for the pigeon. In two, three days, they were in Bangladesh. That's not in Holland. <laughs> Bangladesh. And, and now after one year, two years, he gave me a congratulation. He was very happy uh, with it's one of his best pigeons in Bangladesh. Guys, uh, Bangladesh, Italy, America, Belgium, Holland. And there are more of you out there. There are more people that haven't said anything or, or they're not on the no, show. No, no, no. And you hear buying two pigeons, two pigeons. This auction has six pigeons. You can buy all six and I think you're going to be happy. You can buy one, you're going to be real happy. You don't have to worry. The quality is here. That's why I came here. That's why I came here because I want to. And you know what? Put... I forgot to tell. Go for ahead. The, uh, for the buyers. I always say to people, if they buy, I'm not after the money. If they buy from me and they have no success, of course, I also read that pigeon. So, uh, and if they have no success or they got healthy problems, please let me know. We, we, I will replace it. No problem. Is That's it, what I do. A man no who problem. stands behind his pigeons. Yes. Uh, six super lots. And, and I want to thank the people who, who tuned in here today from all over the world to give their praises to these pigeons. Uh, bid in confidence, American buyers. If you haven't heard the name, you don't have to worry. These pigeons go to countries and they find a way to win. They're good crosses. You can see it. 
Leah, what a show. What, a, what an opener, isn't it? You know, um, what I want to say is there is a reason that why Ryan is there today with Yost. This is five years in the making. Ryan said several years ago, we've got to get Yost. We've got to get Yost. And we're so happy uh, for yeah, season five to have Yost as part of the Feathers Elite family. We are so excited to be able to bring this high quality to our North American clients. Um, we've got a lot of comments coming in that say thank you, Yos, uh, and thank you, Ryan, um, for asking questions, and lovely to see you back on the loft tours. Guys, this is why we do it. We go the distance so you don't have to. Our breeders go the distance so you don't have to. Before we wrap this show up, I just want to remind you guys to head on over to our website, and I'm just going to pull it up here now in case you're not familiar. This is the Yo's Goosen online auction that is open now on our website. We want you to head on over to our website. I want you to take a look at all six incredible lots. Don't just look at the photos. I want you to click on each lot because when you click on each lot, we have an absolute wealth of information. Not only do we have pedigrees and eye sign photos and breeder photos and Yo's results, but all the videos that you saw here today, we have those up as well that you can look at. We have complete write-ups. We have videos of the breeders. There we see Ryan and Yos again, looking at the breeders of these fantastic six lots. And if you're still not convinced, we have the loft tour. Down at the bottom of each lot, I'm just gonna scroll here quickly. We have so much information. We have the loft tour of Yos Goosen. You can sit back, kick back, and relax and watch the full loft tour where you will know exactly where your pigeons are coming from. Why do we do this? We want you to make informed bids. We want you to, our breeder wants you to, because when you buy it, we all want you to be happy. Not everyone is a winner, but we want to make sure you are confident in making your bids. Yos, it is never easy to be first and you actually volunteered to go first yeah um, no problem. I, I, I give you absolute credit for that an absolute pleasure not only to work with you but your amazing pigeons we want to thank you so much for giving feathers elite the opportunity and our buyers the opportunity to purchase from you wow that, that was a great first show fantastic it, it was what was you know what Yost, like Yost, yes. Yost did great. Those birds did great. The results are there. But the people, the people today is what made this show. The people stood behind you and said, those pigeons will win. I have goosebumps. Guys, there's no guarantees he'll be back next year at Feathers Elite. We never know. I would love to have this man back every year because you see it in the results. You see it in the people. Super pigeons. A super pigeon man. Quality. He stands behind. Uh... And this is why he's number one. He st stood up out of all the breeders and said, I want to go first. Got big balls. Took a look at the bag. When he's not winning pigeon races, he's hitting the bag there. Stay in condition. Stay in condition. I don't want to fight him. I don't want, I'm don't. i scared of this guy. I know he doesn't look that big, but he's got a hell of a hit. Uh, Yos, good luck. Yeah. Thank in, you. In, it, in, was in, a, it was a pleasure for me, too. And, uh, you know, one uh, for the people all over the world. To become a champion, okay, it's hard, but lots of people can can manage to do that. But to make other people champions, and that I've learned from Gabi van der Nabele. When when I I've drove to him for 15 years, we got best friends, and I've learned so much at him. He had the best pigeon in the world, and I also thought I wanted to. I want to make other people happy. I want to make champions. Until now. I, I I do well, yeah, and and for, I'm proud of myself. Maybe I can say that as always, if from Bangladesh or my friends or I don't care from all over the world, if they succeed with my pigeon, that gives me a good feeling. It's almost better than winning a race yourself, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, of course. It? I win so many. That's right, and and you know what? <laughs> uh, the proof is in is in the pudding, as they say it. Take a look at the results from around the world. He's the man right there. Guys, all bids are in Canadian dollars. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions is where you go to bid. The birds have finished their quarantine. They are ready to be shipped out. Now all you have to do is bid in confidence. Check out our auction site. It is loaded from top to bottom. And hey, if you're still not sure, he's on Facebook. He's on Messenger. Send him a message. Ask the questions. Remember, 
Knowledge is power. And that's what Feathers Elite brings to you. We give you as much information so you can make informed bids. Yos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Thank you for giving us your very, very best. And guys, you know what to do. Enjoy your bidding. Thanks for flying with us, guys. Bye for now.